meditation comes out of Isaiah, the 40th chapter, the 28th through the 31st verse. Has thou not known, has thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And the word of the Lord is already blessed. by the Youth and Cradle Roll Choir of this church. We bring you Youth and Cradle Roll Choir singing. If you ever needed the Lord, you sure do need him right now. This broadcast is dedicated to the Father and Sister Dorothy Terrell in the Brentwood Healthcare Center, Sister Essie Wilkins in the Manor Healthcare, Reverend Charles Conway, Deacon Clance Judge, Sister Queen Eastman, Sister Emily Short, Mother Lola Mae Lewis, Deacon Craig Harvey, Brother Harold Hammond, Deacon Chuck Crawford, Sister Lillian Gordon, Deacon Ollie Winston, Sister Bobby Gilmore, Sister Kim Hamlin, Sister Joanne, F Sister Joan Fagan, Deacon Lucia Patrick, Sister Della Anderson, Sister Hattie Davis, and Sister Valerie Donson, Sister Sister Phyllis Cox and family, and Sister Shirley Cox and family. If you ever need the Lord before, you sure do need it right now.
you're tuned to radio station WBGX 1570 on your AM dial, the Big Gospel Express, and streaming live on favornetwork.net. Live and direct from the main sanctuary, this is the New Nazareth Missionary Baptist Church, while I pass it over here is the Reverend Dr. Jarvis J. Hanson. We bring in Sister Miranda Taylor and the U Choir singing, My Worship is for Real. To try to figure it out because my worship, my worship is for real because my worship, my worship. Is 
say hallelujah hallelujah my worship is for real say thank you jesus thank you jesus my worship is for real My worship is for real. Hey, say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you, Lord. My worship is for real. Hey, say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Oh, my worship is for real.
please mark your calendar for this great celebration. Sister Valeria Jones and Sister Olivia Griffin, ministry leaders, Reverend Jarvis Hanson, pastor. The broadcast ministry will celebrate their anniversary on Sunday, August 23rd at 2.15. Come share with the ministry that helps keep our broadcast on the air every Sunday. Sister Sharon Johnson, ministry leader, Reverend Jarvis Hanson, pastor. This church will be traveling to Atlanta, Georgia, leaving this Wednesday, July 22nd at 10.30 p.m. Special announcement by Deacon Jerry Madison. Before I make the special announcement, it becomes my sad duty to announce the homegoing service of Brother Edward Cox. The service will be here on tomorrow, July the 20th, at 10 a.m., right here at 7933 South Yates Boulevard. Our prayer and love go out to Sister Shirley Cox and her family. Also, on next Sunday evening at 3 o'clock, there will be no live broadcast in this room. To all the music lovers, all roads and streets lead here to the New Nazareth Baptist Church, where the youth and Cradle Road Choir will celebrate their anniversary right here in this room at 5.30 p.m. If you're not on your way now, you should get started because they're going to sing to the power of the Lord come down. And their very special guests on this evening will be new and old Samson. You don't want to miss it. These young people have been praying preparing for this anniversary for the last couple months and you want to be here to enjoy this anniversary with them. Now we bring you the U Choir back in their final selection, Mighty God.
behalf of Sister Shirley Cox and family, Sister Shirley Rahman, the choir sings, Only Believe. teaching. The wage of sin is death. Oh, but the gift of God is eternal life. We bring to this sacred desk our pastor and our leader and our teacher, the Reverend Dr. Jarvis J. Hanson. Come on, why don't you give God a hand clap of praise? Amen. Come on, let's thank God for our young people. Who we are anxiously looking forward to hearing on this evening, amen, at the 5.30 hour, I have the best group of young people in the world, amen, best cradle roll youth, young adult choir in the world, amen, to all of our sick and to all of our shut-in. Uh, we're so glad to be with you by way of radio and by way of internet. Um, as I told you all, I'm taking it easy today and not trying to overexert myself. And uh, that's what the Lord told me to do. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I want to make a quick uh, correction. Uh, uh, there will be church here at 3 o'clock next Sunday. A amen. I, uh, yeah. E e I, I don't cancel church like that. And uh, I didn't, that didn't come past my desk. And uh, so we going to, just because I'm gone and other people are gone, y'all still do what y'all got to do. <clears throat> amen. Uh, don't look at me like that. I'm looking right back at you. Amen. You pay for it, so do it. Amen. And if we're going to go to recording, then we need to go to recording every Sunday and not just cancel it once. No, we, if we're here, then we're going to do it. Amen. Amen. The reason I'm saying amen is not to get you to say amen because I'm amen in myself. Amen. Uh, amen. Uh, so with those of you who be here, We'll be, those of you who be here and be in place. Well, Reverend, we ain't got, you, you got, use what you got. Amen. Amen. If you got three folk, sing with them three folk. And if four people here, y'all preach to them four people. Hey. Amen. But I just want us to be in church. Let's do what we're supposed to do. And that's, that's what we do. Amen. And that's what we've been doing it this long. So uh, we got it. Y'all wanted it. So let's do it. Amen. God is good. <clears throat> All the time. God is good. Uh, uh, we are praying, uh, especially for Sister Cox. And we'll be here on tomorrow. Amen. Uh, funeralizing her husband. And they will be uh, shipping them to. Now, the, the Lord just talked to me. They told me some of those y'all talking about what I just did. You better be careful. Amen. If you don't like it, then don't you come. Amen. Those of you who want to be here, be here. But listen, people look forward to us being where we're supposed to be. And if we're not able to do it due to a, uh, another engagement, that's different. But we're not just going to not do it because people are not going to be here. Okay? And so be careful of scoffing me in God's house. You don't, you don't think I hear the Lord tell me. Amen. 
because the next word you might say will be the last word. Amen. So just be careful. Um, amen. I'm, I'm, amen. So I'm just telling you. There's a preacher in the house. Amen. I don't want to put him up after that. So y'all stand to your feet. Let's sing a hymn. Amen. One of my sons in the ministry, Reverend Daryl Hardison. Let's keep one another lifted. Let's keep Sister Wilkins lifted. Sister Gilmore, Brother Gilmore. Amen. And others who are um, Sister Boyd. Uh, anybody else I'm missing? Sister Griffin, Sister Wilbon. Let's keep them in there pray, in our prayers. Father. I, I stray my I, I hand to, to thee, no, no other, no other hell. Oh yeah, if, if thou will withdraw thyself from from me, oh. Trust, come on, in the Lord. I, I will trust. Oh, oh, in the Lord, till I, till I die. I, of a good time. The choir just sung, he's a mighty God. How many of you can contest that God is mighty? Woke you up this morning. Although we wasn't worthy of his mercy, he gave us another opportunity. And we want to say thank you. We're asking you to come out tonight and give support to our young people. God is good, and he's good all the time. Giving honor to God, who is the creator of all things, to Jesus Christ, our redeemer, to the Holy Spirit, who brings back things to our memories, to the angel of this house, the Reverend Dr. Jarvis Hansen, to the Presbyterians that graced the pulpit with me. I count it indeed an honor and a pleasure to stand before you once again, God is a good God. Shall we pray? Our Father, 
It is once again your handmade servant stand before you as the empty pitcher before a full fountain. I come to say thank you. Thank you for being such a good and gracious God to allow me to stand behind this sacred desk one more time. I ask you to have me behind the cross. Don't let them see Daryl, but see your glory. I ask you to create in me a clean heart, renew in me a right spirit, order my step, brighten my tongue. May I may say and do the right thing. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my God. I love you this morning. I love you every day because you first loved me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. You who have your Bible, I would like to invite your attention to Philippians, the second chapter, beginning at the eighth verse. What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, our sins and griefs he bears. What a privilege to carry. That's a song that would suit this scripture that I'm about to read, beginning at the eighth verse of second of Philippians second chapter. The eighth verse begins, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. You may be seated. This passage, it speaks for itself. I don't have to put it tag on it because Jesus is Lord. The Philippian church was organized in or about AD 50 and from the first day they shared Paul's interest in the gospel and made Paul's suffering their own for twice they had sent him money at Thessalonica. Once at Corinth and now again at Rome, their love for him was interchangeable, that it was real and it full measure. 
the only flaw that this church of Philippians had was the lack of complete harmony among some of their members. Despite being persecuted and experiencing suffering, Paul let them know that God had granted them salvation, not just for their own profit, but for the good of others as well. They should live their lives worthy of the gospel. So it, I want to stop right here and pin a question because in Sunday school, we've been dealing with McKay. And we always, you know, talk about uh, living a life. Not just when we come here on Sunday, but this is a 24 7 thing. You know, once we leave here, see, I mean, we got problems where we might say we love you here, but once we leave here, we're getting on the phone and talking about who did this and who did that. Now, if we supposed to be endowed with the Holy Spirit, we talked about this today, that, okay, I know everybody's sin. We all fall short of the mark. But what is pleasing to the Lord is that we obey his word. In harmony with one another and quarreling among themselves is prohibited. Sometimes as believers, not being fully developed, we read God's word and we want his word to fit our life and not our life to fit his word. We can be selfish, full of pride. We let the negativity of Satan get into our mind and get us caught up in not so good of situations. That's why Paul is telling them in us in the fifth verse of this second chapter to let this man be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. We should have an attitude of gratitude that enables us to lay aside our rights in order to serve others. If we are to be followers of Christ, we must live like Christ. We know that Christ didn't lie, didn't steal, didn't fornicate, didn't commit adultery, nor did he try to get recognition for his efforts. And because of his humility and his obedience unto death, the death of the cross, therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. We know that there have been many great names that I have admired. And I'm very proud to have been associated with the Reverend John E. Hopkins, the organizer of this great church. The Reverend Martin Luther King, a civil rights leader who fought for and had a dream of equality for all people. And now I'm finna put another pin because I had put Barack Obama, which he is a great leader, but I'm considering how he let the world 
respectfully, kind friends, we bring to a close this religious broadcast emanating from the historical New Nazareth Missionary Baptist Church, located in Chicago, Illinois, at 7933 South Yates Boulevard, where our organizing pastor was the late Reverend Great Dr. J.E. Hopkins, and our pastor is the one and only Reverend Dar Jarvis Hanson. The telephone number to call if you have enjoyed these services is 773-731-4747 and 48. Jawan Larry has been your director for today, along with Reverend Keith Barker. On the Hammond organ is Anthony Curry. Pianist was Terry Patrick. Percussionist Les Noyle. These services are by remote control, and your engineer for today has been Brother Edward McLean, Jr. Until we return back to the airwaves on next Sunday, may God bless and keep you. Good afternoon. Where every knee shall bow of things in heaven and of things in earth and of things under the earth. Here you see we are talking about three realms. What are those things? Those things in heaven are angels who at the name of Jesus, angels veil their face and sing holy, holy is his name. And those things in the earth are men and women who lift up clean hands and cry hallelujah. And those things under the earth, they are demons at the name of Jesus. Demons tremble at that name. Every tongue is going to confess that Jesus is Lord. The atheists who don't believe in God will have to confess that Jesus is Lord. The Mormons will confess that Jesus is Lord. Elijah Mohammed will have to confess that Jesus is Lord. He is Lord over my life. He is Lord over my heart. So much, Lord, that he took a worthless sinner like me. Gave me a blood transfusion. With his precious blood, and he saved my lost soul. He is Lord over my job. Lord, over my home. Lord, over the food I eat. I like to bring David on to sing. He said I once was young, but now I'm old. And I have never seen the righteous forsaken or the seed begging bread. So much, Lord, that over 2,000 years ago, he left his holy throne in glory. Took a train of nature. Now through 42 generations. Ended up in a town called Bethlehem. Born in a manger, born of a Virgin Mary, wrapped up in swaddling cloth, stepson of Joseph, tabernacle in this world. 
for 30 years. Yeah. Healing the sick. Yeah. Raising the dead. Yeah. Giving sight to the blind. Yeah. Opening deaf ears. Yeah. But they caught him yeah. one Thursday. Evening yeah. whipped him. Oh, all night long. Friday put a rugged cross on his shoulder. They marched him to Calvary. They laid him down on that old rugged cross, yeah. putting nails in his hand, yeah. put spikes in his feet, yeah. and never did he say a mumbling word. So much love that nature recognized who he was yeah. as he hung up on the cross. The earth started to reel and it rocked like a drunk man. The sun had to dismiss itself because he knew that two suns could shine at the same time. Ain't he all right? He stayed there all night, Friday night. Well, they said. All night, Saturday night. But I said, early, early Sunday morning, before the dew had got on the billows, he got up. All power in his hand. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? I say, yeah. 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 I love the Lord because he heard my cry. And he pity every groan. Long as I live, while trouble rise. I'm going to haste it to his strong. I say, yeah. Yeah! Y'all do me one favor. If you know that Jesus is Lord, the choir just said that he's a mighty God. Stand up on your feet because he didn't bless you today. I'm so glad I know that he walks with me and uh, he talks with me and he tells me that I, 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 I am his own. Thank you, Jesus, for being so good to me. Down. God is good. So good. 
When I was lost, he picked me up, turned me around, placed my feet on solid ground, and I'm glad he is Lord. Nobody couldn't do that but Jesus, because he is my friend. I'm a shouting preacher, and I don't care, because don't nobody know my story. Don't nobody know where he bought me from, but he's been so good to me. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Yeah. Some of y'all just watching them, but, but but instead of you spectating, it's better to participate. Now, now, now let, let me tell you what the Bible says. The Bible says, the, the psalmist said, in my distress, I cried unto the Lord. And he heard me. And I looked up that word distress. In the Hebrew, it literally means tight place. Now, now, now watch it, watch it. Don't don't leave me yet. He said, when I hollered in my tight place. Then he said, it says he set me on a large place. I got a witness. So until you learn to shout in your tight place, then you ain't ready for no large place. So, so I wish I had about 20 of y'all that can help them shout in a tight place. 
Your, your bills are tight. Your health is tight. Your family is tight. But look at somebody and say, my large place is going. So just, just come on. Give about 20 seconds and just go ahead and shout. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Some of y'all saying, what's a tight place? Well, some of y'all in a tight place and you need to be honest about it. If you wondering what you're going to do on tomorrow, you're in a tight spot. You got some hard-headed family members, you're in a tight place. Your health is fluctuating, you're in a tight place. But the best thing to do is just go ahead and praise them. The best thing to do is go ahead and shout. Wait a minute, he said, let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ Jesus. You know what Jesus did in a tight place? He started talking to his daddy. It got tight on Calvary. But look at somebody and tell them, I'm going to keep on talking because Sunday is on the way. So you just need to go ahead at the count of three. Open up your mouth and just holler. One, two, one. Yeah! Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. doors of the Lord's house are open. The door is open. Come by letter. Christian experience. Candidate for baptism. When trouble puts you in the squeeze, the best thing to do is just holler out. Some of y'all too cute to holler, you too. If, I promise you if I can holler the way I wanted to, I would. But I told y'all when I feel like it and can't do it, I, that, that's what the preacher said. You, But when you can just build up just one good one in you. Yeah! Yeah! Doors open. Ooh! I wish I could. Doors open. God has commanded, yet there's still room for more. Come on, thank God for the message. And the messenger. Amen. Amen. Come on, thank God for Reverend Daryl Hardison. Amen. Come on, let's get ready to give. And you got enough time to go get you, get you some, uh, Some two for a dollar cookies and some red Kool Aid. Amen.
right. And then we want to be a blessing to our preacher as well. Amen. <clears throat> so we'll need need a basket for our preacher, do we? Yeah. We have one all right. We're well on our way. All right, we ready? Everybody stand, face the outer walls, and obey the us.